What's up, everyone? So what's new with Penny Fire Records this week? Well, we got our new 2020 iMac in sitting right here behind me. I'll showcase it here in a second. What are we replacing? Well, we're replacing a 2017 iMac that is was the top of the line, the one right below the iMac Pro and its day in 2017. But in those short few years, they've put out the 2020 and it was a workhorse compared to the old one. Our old one was doing great for music production. We rarely had any problems with it whatsoever, but now that we're challenging ourselves to put out a new video a week during 2021 and try to grow this channel and grow this community, uh, we realized that we needed a, a little bit better GPU and a little bit more CPU power for rendering some of these videos, making it faster. Time is money, right? So this week, our new 2020 Mac came in from Apple, and I gotta say, I've never custom configured or ordered a computer from Apple directly before and it was awesome way faster than I thought so I ordered it last Friday and it arrived today on a Thursday and I thought that when you cut configured a computer through Apple I don't know what I thought but I guess maybe I figured there was Apple warehouses here in the States and they would you know open them up put whatever in there that you wanted how you wanted it configured and then ship it out to you but no it ended up coming from their factory in china so if you've dealt with that for years it's no surprise to you but for me i'd never done it before it was a cool revelation um but furthermore is it shipped two days ago from shanghai china on tuesday and it's thursday and it's sitting in the studio right now it's insane that's talk about like amazon delivery speed but from from a whole other country so that's the cool new stuff going on this week. Uh, also, we might be selling the Roland TD27KV. And, oh, it's going to hurt me to do it because I love that e-kit. As far as electronic drums go, it has been one of the best kits I've ever owned. And I think I've owned five different kits now across different brands. And that's my second Roland that I've owned, and it is hands down the best. That snare on that thing is unlike any other electronic kit that I've ever felt. And we used to do a lot of the triggering, and we had a theory for a while that people would bring in their, most likely just bring in their kits anyways, and record their stuff. And then for here, for us, we could just use our kit, but uh, our e-kit. But uh, we're getting a nice kit for ourselves. So we should be selling that thing on Friday. And like I said, it hits me in my heart, it hurts, because I love that electronic drum kit. Uh, but it's time to move on to bigger, better things. It's time to move on to a uh, an SJC, is what we're actually zeroing in on. So we're looking at getting a really nice SJC. Um, and that's just, everybody has their personal preference on drums, right? That's why they have so many different brands. But SJC is the sound that, uh, that we're going after. Mr. Nicky and I, I wish he could be here, but he'll be today, but he'll be here tomorrow. So... Uh, you'll probably see Mr. Nikki and I making another little quick short talking about the the new 2020 iMac. Uh, I gotta get it, I gotta get it uh, up and running. I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM to install into it real quick, and then I've got to get it, uh, I gotta get it put up on the Visa mount. Which if you ever tried to do that with this one of these, uh, I'm the newer iMacs. They don't have the Visa mount that just unplugs anymore. They there's this little contraption that you have to buy. It's really well built. I think it's like twenty dollars on Amazon. But you have to mount this contraption to it, and it mounts to a Visa mount. So, yep, that's the fun I get to do. And I have the fun of redoing a time machine and then re-getting plugins to to connect. Because, you know, even when you have the iLock system, the iLock system is great, especially now with the cloud one. You can just go in and re-sign in, and then you just obviously unplug your iLock from one computer to the next. But then you still have to authorize it uh, to, the new, to the new CPU. Uh, and then for the companies, for the brands that you don't, have the iLock under then you got to go through and figure all that out so it's not not terribly hard because the time machine and apple and the way they do it but it still is a little process so that's going to be what's going on today and then tomorrow hopefully we'll be back on here with mr nicky talking about this drum set so yeah y'all have a good night bye